Hey, I'm Ronit with Mobile Geeks and we're in Berlin, Germany for IFA 2013 and what we have right here is the Asus PhonePad Note 6 which is basically a full HD IPS panel on a 6 inch device that's a phone and a tablet in combination and it looks kind of like a uh, Samsung Galaxy Note of the second generation or first generation actually. Um, the screen is really awesome, it's got a full HD resolution as I said it's an IPS panel the screen brightness is really great so you'd probably be able to read this in outside and we're in really bright conditions right now um, this is full brightness and yeah it's really good um, there's a dual core Intel Atom Z2580 in here that's running at 2.0 gigahertz so it's a fast CPU in there it's got 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigabytes of onboard storage and it's running Android 4.2.2, I think. Let's just quickly try and find out. There's the settings right there. And check out about phone. We have Android 4.2.2 in here. So that's Jelly Bean, the most up-to-date version. Except it's not 4.3, but there's probably going to be an update. Asus is not really modifying anything on the uh, interface itself. There's just a couple of differences on the design of the settings menu and on this device they're actually missing the mini apps which you have on the other Asus devices where you could uh, have small apps on top of the typical Android user interface. Performance is really zippy. As you can see the Atom graphics is actually doing a pretty good job. And let's take a quick look around. We have up here a, I think, 2 megapixel front camera down up here. And on the bottom, we have dual speakers blasting to the front, just like on some Samsung devices. On the side, we have the power button and a volume rocker. On the bottom, there's pretty much nothing except for this micro USB port and a microphone right there. And another little thing that I'm just going to tell you about in a second. And up here, we have a flap behind which there are the SIM card slot and the micro USB port. So this is actually a 3G capable device and it's a full sized phone. On the back there's a 5 megapixel camera I think and this looks like another mic. It's, the back is all plastic, it's got this glossy flickering glizzy finish. Um, it attracts a lot of fingerprints but it feels sturdy. The price point should be pretty cheap actually because Asus is not really saying anything about the pricing but as usual the Intel devices and the ones which are made of plastic and from, come from Asus themselves are mostly pretty cheap. And there's another special feature on this which is this stylus that is integrated into the casing right here. And if you drag that out actually the, uh, the note taking application is being launched so you can just scribble right away. Um, let's check this out. It's got a capacitive touchscreen and it's stylus capable. I think the stylus has, stylus has um, continue. I think the stylus actually has um, 1024 uh, pressure sensitive sensitivity uh, measures and the device works really well. Um, should be out just after IFA. This is a working model. They're not full production units yet, but seems pretty good. And as I said, awesome screen, 3G capable. Pricing should be okay at least. You're not gonna pay as much as on a Samsung device for this. So it might be a good alternative to devices like the Galaxy Note. Um, what else is there? Uh, Asus is actually saying that they're trying to position this in the worldwide market so it should be out in Germany and all the other countries just the same. I don't know if there's going to be a dual uh, SIM version of this but there might be coming out later for Russia and other markets like this. So this is the PhonePad 6 from Asus now in working condition after it was only shown up off as a mock-up at Computex and I was rolling with Mobile Geeks. See you later.